This episode, we're going back in time to March 2022 for another look at the Formula Drift event in Long Beach, California. Formula Drift made two visits to the LA area in 2022, and in a weird coincidence, both coincided with trips we'd made to the US. Unfortunately, because we didn't know beforehand, we didn't have tickets, but in March 2022, we tried our luck. Van, our man in LA who started the Blacklist Garage YouTube channel, and has appeared a couple of times on the channel so far, managed to find a couple of spare passes with people he knew who were already inside. The problem with that is, they were already inside, and we weren't. At the start line, the drivers were warming up and putting on a bit of a show for everybody who hadn't managed to get in yet. So, at least we had some entertainment whilst we waited for our passes to reach us from those on the inside. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to the channel, hit the little notification bell to get notified when we put out new videos, and follow us on all the usual social media channels, and check out our Discord. By the time we managed to get the passes and get in, we'd missed quite a few of the early rounds and a lot of people were starting to pack up, but there was still some racing going on with the last few heats and of course, the finals. The main area of the show is directly adjacent to the pits, so walking around all of the merch and traders, you see all of the other teams with their stands, the vehicles and all of their mechanics working on the cars. The last few rounds were yet to start, so whilst we waited for those to begin and everybody to get ready for the final runs of the day, we wandered around the exhibitors to see who was there. K&N, which I didn't know apparently stands for Ken and Norm, were attending the Long Beach event as new partners of Formula D, and to celebrate they had a giveaway wheel, so we had a go. And we won a hat. Not bad. Thank you. Vortec, purveyors of many things that make boost, were also here with this utterly massive supercharger. Good for in excess of 4 bar or 50 psi, according to the website, and some 3,500 horsepower. Yours for a bit under $8,000. Probably a little bit over the top for any of our builds. Walking back through the pits, more cars were packing up and the semi-finals were about to get underway. So we walked over to the grandstand to catch the first run. Predictably, the stands were absolutely packed by the time we got there, having been walking around the show. We just barely got up the steps into the bleachers for a slightly better view when the first race with Matt Field and Frederick Acebo was getting underway. Barreling down towards the crowd, Matt's Corvette spun out, clipping the wall and wrecking the whole right rear suspension, tearing the tyre off the wheel, with Frederick Supra spinning out right next to him. Fortunately, both Matt and Frederick were fine, and Matt got out to inspect the damage. After that, the replays came out from all of the cameras with every angle on the big screen, and everybody could inspect exactly what happened while the car got recovered. It's hard to watch, Jared. It's hard. saying the internet's going wild. I just hope that uh, nobody is blaming him for this. This I was really don't think purely so. an accident. He clearly feels bad, and I just want to make sure that it's it's known. Uh, I'm sure that uh, Chris and Brian have uh, assessed fault. 
on Osbo as well in this situation. And in that case, Matt Field gets 10 minutes to repair his car. If he can't repair it in the 10, he'll then have to take a five minute competition timeout. And in the 15 minutes, uh, he has to try to repair this, well, broken car here. As you can see, it's yeah. uh, in pretty bad shape. Um, I don't know how long it takes to repair a Corvette that has been damaged to this extent. Basically blocking him to do the transition and he smashed into the wall and I don't, I don't want to be that guy, you know? It's, it's freaking sucks for Matt's car. It, it sucks with the rules the way they are. They're not a lot of the time to fix it. And it's frankly a lot to fix. And it, it, I feel like I, I rob people of a good battle, you know? But it's a heat of the moment thing, you know? I'm, I'm here, Matt's, you know, you, got, you can't let him go. So I try to stay close, but I got too greedy. And this is something I've been trying to untrain and get better at, but today I ruined the day for him. So I'm, 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 I apologize, Matt, and your team. These guys are operating at the absolute bleeding edge of everything that their car is capable of and themselves are capable of. With Frederick having been judged to have clipped Matt's car, Matt progressed to the final battle against Ryan Turk. But unfortunately, with his car in pieces, this was just a one-man solo run right the way around the track for Ryan. For the Rain X. Toyota GR Corolla on the other Thanks very much for watching. You can support us at shop.pedalbox.show where you can buy merch. You can support us at patreon.com forward slash pedalbox show where you will also get a discount on merch shop on anything you buy. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Follow us on the usual channels. And don't forget to check out the Discord. See you next time.